In this question, we're told the random variable x has the binomial distribution where n is 10 and the probability of success is 0.3. Also told that y equals 2x plus 1. Part A asks to find the mean and variance of y. So to find the mean and variance of y, we're going to use the property E of ax plus b equals a times the E of expectation of x plus b and variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared times the variance of x. So expectation of y is equal to the expectation of the function in x which is 2x plus 1. So this is equal to 2 times the expectation of x plus 1. Now the variance of y will be the variance of 2x plus 1, so the variance of the function in x, and this is calculated by the coefficient of x, which is 2 squared times the variance of x. So at this point, all I need is the expectation of x and the variance of x. Now, expectation of a binomial distribution is given as NP, so this is 10 times 0.3, which is 3. And the variance of x for binomial distribution is given as NPQ, which is 10 times 0.3 times 0.7, which will come out as 3 times 0.7, which is 2.1. So then finishing off the question, the expectation of y will be 2 times 3 plus 1, which equals 7, and a variance of y will be 4 times 2.1, which is 8.4. So that was part A. Part B asks to find the probability that y equals 7. So if y equals 7, then 7 is equal to 2x plus 1. So that 2, let's just change that so it's a 7, let's make sense rather than putting the y there. So 2x will be equal to 7 minus 1, which is 6, and then so x is equal to 3. So the probability y is equal to 7 is the same as the probability that x is equal to 3. As it's equal to this value, I'm not going to bother using the tables, I'm just going to use the binomial formula. So it's n choose 3, n is 10, so I get 10 choose 3 times the probability of success, which is 0 0.3, times the number of success to the power of the number of successes, which is 3, times the probability of failure, which is 0 0.7, to the power of the number of failures, which is 7, and then I can calculate this. So I'll put this into my calculator, work it out, and take care, and it should get an answer of 0 0.267 to three decimal places. Okay, well let's have a look to see how these marks are given. Expectation of x is 3 and a variance of x is 2.1 and getting both will get you a standalone mark. Later on, we get a method mark if you've got the expect, uh, expectation of y is 2 times the expectation of x plus 1 and an answer mark if you've got the answer of 7. You then get a method mark if you've got the expectation of y is 2 squared times the variance of x and an answer mark if you've got a correct answer of 8.4. Next, in part b, there's a method mark for identifying that the probability that y equals 7 is equal to the probability that x equals 3. There is then an answer mark for correctly substituting in the values into the binomial formula and an answer mark for the numerical answer at the end. Okay, well I hope the solution made sense and that you were able to follow how to mark the question.